jumpy. I think it was a game of two halves, 12 6 up at the break. You, your side were come out fired up and did sort of maybe you, you alluded to it in the radio interview, maybe sort of shell shocked Bradford, but the balls come out in the second half. They seem to be a completely different side, and your side struggled to, 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 uh, to keep hold of him in that second half. And I think they well deserve the two points. Yeah, uh, yeah, I thought the first half we were good for our lead. I thought we did score another try, but it. <laughs> That, that's what it is. It should have been 18 6. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we were decent in the first half, mate. We had, we had more sets than them. We had, I think, three more sets in the first half and we scored a couple of good tries. Defended really well. I thought we were hungry in defence in the first half, but half time come, they come out a different team and we didn't. We, we didn't. Uh, we, we just we didn't stay with them, Jordan. Uh, first 15 minutes, three tries they got. Completed nine out of ten sets, and we only had the ball three times and completed twice. So that all it all takes its toll. The first set of the second half, we we got the ball, we didn't get a kick away, we get tackled on our forty. We didn't recover from that for about for that period of that ten or fifteen minutes. We were just at the yard. I didn't think we got in there in there after about maybe it was after the twenty minute mark. You know what I mean? So doing all that defending on your line and. They had, they had to put effort in, but teams like these, they're going to crack it eventually. It's championship, that's what that's what happens with pressure there. Eh? Like you say, it was a completely different second half and performance from, from both sides, really. And we, We've alluded to it, that no try given. The referee, uh, Matty Lynn, has, I think, apparently said that he's he's made the wrong decision there, but it's all he's put some maybes. Momentum could change, but like you say, the Bulls were well good in that. In, the, in that second half and like I said they were able to take full advantage of and, and getting around your side and obviously going out to 12 for 10 minutes as well yeah I mean they went to 12 for 10 minutes as well mine but I, I just think yeah it it would have been nice to get that, that try but that did that didn't we didn't lose the game because of that Jordan we, we lost the game because we weren't as good in the second half as we were in the first and losing Mason in the first half didn't help he's, he's seen what he's done for his try and he's, he's done his hamstring so that means we put we putting people putting Joy to fall back and Jay Carter in centre. They've done a decent job defensively, but you miss him at half when we're doing that, and we can't spell Newton at nine because Jammers at half because Carter can't play there. You know what I mean? So he didn't. He did with Mason coming off. He did skew us a bit with our positional, our our, our organisation that way. But I just thought they they notched up a gear in that second half, and, and we weren't great to be fair. Just weren't able to mm. sort of match that in, in intensity, whatever. It, it may have been, and obviously only naming 16 today, it's always going to be difficult. We spoke pretty much that you didn't feel like it was going to have a, a, a big impact because there sometimes has been times, even this season, where you haven't used all of your substitutes. But when you, you lose Mazo out the back, you're going down to 15, you aren't able to spell your mm. nine. It, it can have an impact on the game in a way that you obviously weren't expecting. It, it did. It, that side of it did, because obviously Newt had to play the full 80. Which is capable of doing, but when you're defending that much like we did in the second half, you want to give lads breaks, and, and we couldn't. But I, <laughs> having the 16 wasn't didn't isn't great for anybody to go with 16. But it's just a rotation of middles, which we still did anyhow. So it didn't affect us that much having that 16. To be if that makes sense. And obviously we've you sort of named. I think it was a 20-man squad. Obviously Callum Phillips put his hand up, and we spoke pretty much that. While he might have been able to do a job for you, Callum, it would have been very painful for him. And obviously afterwards, and Callum's got to think about himself. Um, Conor Holiday did stick his hand up for you, and, and I, I mentioned it on the radio. I thought Conor done very well out there today, but missing the likes of like obviously Will Evans, um, Oscar Doran, and Guy Gray. And what, what's what, what's the what's the story on them? Can yeah, we should them? have Guy back next week, and hopefully Will back. I'm not sure about Oscar. Oscar needs a scan on his back. I think he's getting one this week. Like I say, Mazo will be going for a scan. I don't think I think that could be a lengthy injury for Mazo. Uh, yeah, Conor Alder put his hand up because we were short of numbers and I thought Conor played really well. Yeah. Considering he hasn't played for is it since Toulouse. Yeah. I think it's since Toulouse, 20th of April. So to, to, for him not to play that long and come and do 80 minutes and, and do a decent job. He scored a try, his carries were decent, he defended okay. Even at times he did look as though he was on one leg a couple of times late on, but he still got his body in front, so... Yeah, fair play to Connor for doing that, but yeah, we need to we need to maybe look at getting some more people in now. You spoke pretty much, and I know a few people have mentioned. You obviously you mentioned about getting trying to get 
people in, why weren't you able to get anybody in? But I know you've, you and you, Ashley have been working hard to try and get people in over that Challenge Cup weekend. And obviously Huddersfield, they'd be called Luke, you would help to get Dan in. And, and I spoke to Will about it on the radio as well. It's sort of this time of year where Super League sides are still having reserve games in there that, that you know, they're not willing to let players go, go out yet. So it's difficult to bring players in, obviously, this, still at this time of season. Yeah, yeah. And don't get me wrong, it's better for lads like Luca. Like we had Kane Rob last year, George last year, and this and started this year, George Hill. It's better for them playing championship. But if if I'm a Super League coach and I've got a reserve team game and I need to fill that reserve team, you you, you pull players back. It's just that's the nature of the beast. If if we if we've got a squad that's big enough not to go for loans or we we haven't got any injuries, we, we sweet haven't we? But so that you're in the lap of the gods when it comes to that. So hopefully this week, like I say, we we'll, should have Will and, and uh, Guy back. But obviously we've lost Mezo. So uh, maybe get Luca back, I would like to think. Maybe play Luca throughout the middle a bit if Connor's all right. If not, we could put him on an edge and be looking at another couple of clubs and seeing what they can come up with. So uh, hopefully we get some people up, people through the, through the lawn spells. And we'll speak about it in further in depth next week. But obviously, Jews be at home here. Um, they seem to be starting to cut the drift a bit at the bottom. They're obviously nilled at home today. But when any side's been nilled, it's the dangerous beast to come up against next because they're going to want to or have to prove that they're still in this battle because they're starting to be cut adrift a little bit. So they'll be hoping to come up to, to Cumbria next week. That old adage, that long trip to Cumbria, as as they say, and they'll be looking to try and get their season restarted. Yeah, of course they will. They need a win. I thought they'd maybe go all right against York, but obviously York's maybe turned a corner today. I don't know. But uh, yeah, all I've got in my mind is last year at Keithley. Was it last year when we go down there? Keithley haven't won a game and and they, they, were, they were numbered on us because tight the drumming at them don't approach us lightly and that's another that's the case this week we, we don't approach the Jews very lightly because up until the day when they've been playing at home they've even in some of the away games they're in around until late on you know what I mean you said you sell the coach that they've been playing for 20 minutes now 40 sometimes 60 so the last thing we want is to be complacent this week in training and leading up to the Jewsby game and and them coming come to target and us getting two points